Hey guys, my name's Brian and I'm going to show you how to make some soft baits at home that are biodegradable. They have a better impact on the environment and on the fish. If you think about all the soft plastic baits out there, and especially when bluefish or striped bass break a piece of it off, they're not able to digest it. It's not good. Or if you end up losing a line, you end up polluting the environment with the plastics that you're using. Um, what I'm going to show you today is how to make a biodegradable bait that will not only dissolve if you lose it, but the fish can actually process um, the solution. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to boil some water. I use uh, a little piece of wood cutting board because once you put the liquid in the mold, if you pick this up, it's going to spill out all over the place. And Manhattan oil is incredibly potent, which means that if you spill it, it's going to stink really bad. So what I did was I'm going to put the mold on top of this cutting board and I actually take a little bit of tin foil to put under it just to catch any of the runoff that might spill out of our mold. One consideration is this uh, Pure Cure bait scent. Um, I don't know about other Manhattan oils, but this stuff is pretty potent and uh, a little goes a long way. First, I'm going to pour a little bit and I'm going to go with less than a quarter cup. Ultimately, the amount of water that you use is only going to be affected by how many packets you put in there. You just want to mix it so that it's all dissolved. Okay, so I've got the Manhattan oil in there now. And I've got my hot water, so I'm going to just give it a quick mix. And I'm going to pour these two gelatin packets in here. Alright, so the packets are going in. And now I'm just going to mix this stuff. And if all the granules don't mix out, which you can see it's kind of chunky when you get started, you want to just mix all this as quickly as you can because you want it to actually be enough to dissolve, but you want it to dry very quickly as well. So you can see this is a little consistent now. There aren't any chunks in there. It's nice and soft. So here we go. I'm going to start pouring. And there's no rhyme or reason to how to do this. If you check with the manufacturer of the mold, they may say otherwise. So I've already mixed my gelatin, my Manhattan oil, mixed it together real nice and I poured it into the mold. And again, you don't have to put the hooks in ahead of time, but I did just for the convenience of it. So there's our finished result. Um, I had mixed these a little bit soft, so I threw that in the fridge for about five or 10 minutes and uh, took it out, peeled them from the mold. And uh, that's our end result. It looks just like a regular store-bought plastic, except it doesn't have that nasty smell to it and the fish can actually digest it.